I know you see that. That, my friends, is a looped GIF-looking kind of video. It's not technically a GIF. The point is, it started off as a standard still photo, and I used a standard smartphone to edit it into a looping video. Need someone to show you how to do it? Allow me. What is going on everybody? My name is Kenneth Fleece and this is my tutorial on how to turn a still photo into an animated photo using just your phone. To do this, all you're gonna need is an app. It's called Pixaloop. I wish they would have chosen a different name. Pixaloop, Pixaloop. I always wanna call it Pixelite. I think that would have been a better name. But anyway, I'll put the link for it in the description in some proximity to the like button. Before we jump into the app, you need to have a photo that you want to animate. So typically, when somebody's showing you how to use this app, what you're gonna see is water. We're thinking waterfalls, rivers, lakes even. But in actuality, all you need is something that has some sort of implied inherent motion that you can bring out with this app. This app is a tool like any other. So just because you see a lot of people using it a certain way doesn't mean that you have to use it that way. Don't let your imagination get constricted into what society's doing. Getting a little too deep here. Now, I understand that you might not have a photo since you just clicked on this tutorial, but I got your back. So. There's an app called Resplash. I'll put a link to that in the description too. It has a bunch of free photos that you can go through. On top of that, it credits the creators so you can go check out their other work or give them a shout out, which I will do for the photo I'm gonna use in this one. But the biggest thing is that it has a very nice search function. So all you have to do is go up to the top right. In fact, I'll do it with you right now. So all you have to do is go into the top right corner here, hit search, and then type in water. No, I'm kidding water. I recommend using something that has like a shoreline in it. The way this animation is going to work, it's going to take the photo, move it forward and bring it back and then do that in the loop. I like it might even work on this, like a little spray nozzle, but something I've already got a few like this one right here is the one I used. This is an amazing example of what really works well with this app. Before I forget to mention, you're going to want to put on any aesthetic edits before we go into the app. So we're talking the curves, we're talking structure, sharpness, all that stuff you're going to do do that before you bring it into the pixel loop app because if you don't you're not going to be able to edit it afterwards because once we're done with this this is going to be a video file no longer a photo file so that means you're not going to be able to put it in lightroom or snapseed or whatever you use so make sure that edit is done before we jump into pixel loop so first you'll hop into the app it'll show you any projects that you've recently done yours might be fresh because you're starting fresh with me but just hit new project at the bottom i'm going to be doing my photo first with the shirt what you'll notice is at the bottom here there are various tools animate sky element which we're avoiding because I only do free stuff on the channel for the most part here so what you're typically coming in here to do is animate so just bottom left animate you're gonna notice more options come up at the bottom when you do this you're gonna have path and anchor those are the two primary points that we're gonna be worried about here so with path as you probably assume it has a start point and an end point to do this you just put your finger on the screen and drag it up and create a little arrow the direction you drag your finger is the direction this animation is going to go. So put this where it makes sense for you. And then to test out your animation, just go to the bottom right right there. You see that little triangle It's typically a play button. Just press that. I'm going to start belly dancing a little bit. OK, but as you see with my photo, things are going to start getting a little crazy, a little wonky here. This is where the anchors come in. So you just grab the anchors and go boom, 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 bada bing, bada bop, bop. Still belly dancing a little bit in the center right here. I did this on purpose just to show you that anchors aren't an all encompassing tool. They're very good for precision when you need to stop a certain point but if you want to stop a lot of the photo then I don't recommend using the anchor points and to take off the anchor points I'm going to use the bottom left right here that little arrow pointing to the left you can just undo edits so now we're back to where we started to stop parts of the photo in mass you go to the bottom and drag over what you're going to want here is freeze and then just like the name it's going to freeze the photo so you're going to see a little orange tint come up where your finger drags that is everywhere that the software will no longer animate so drag this everywhere. And in my photo, I don't have most of my shirt and everything is not going to be animated. So I'm just going to drag it everywhere. And then once you've got it done, press the play button and test it out. And we're getting there. I mean, look, it's a lot better now, but we're still moving like the MKBHD logo. So now is where I'll get anchors involved. Go back over to the left, grab the anchors. We're going to first put one right on the logo. So that's one part. And then I don't want any of these letters moving. So I'm just going to put it on each letter. And I mean, I kind of go nuts with it sometimes. <laughs> you see, I'm putting a bunch at the bottom here, but that really tells the software that I don't want that stuff moving. And now take a look. Uh, it's, it's all messed up, but that's because of how I have the arrow. What is that? So now if I go back here and go to the path, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to animate it like that. And I don't want it going that far in. So let me remove that one. 
I'm gonna leave this part in just so you can kind of see that it does take some some finagling to get it right sometimes. But we're gonna move this up, center up, this part up, there we go. And then just kind of hide it a little bit and make it not look so wonky. We're just gonna speed it up. Scroll down, there's gonna be speed. You go into it, it'll give you a slider. Of course, in the far left, it'll be going the slowest. Um, then if you drag it all the way to right, it's going, it's not really going that much faster, but it's pretty quick, okay? So that's the first photo. It's a little bit more tricky than the standard would be, but I just wanted to show you that you can use this for things other than water. Now, when you save this, you just go up to the top right and hit export. And then what I recommend if you're putting this on Instagram is that you do not choose any of these options. If you use these dimensions, it's going to crop the photo and give you less to work with when you're uploading it to Instagram. So I recommend just exporting it as original. If it doesn't let you export and it just says remove pro limit, then you have the quality up a little too high. They only allow 2K and 4K to be for their pro version. So just keep it on 1080p, which is fine for Instagram, and then choose your duration. The duration is how long this is going to play before it ends. Instagram and most social media outlets are going to loop this video when it ends. So to save yourself file space, I recommend just keeping this low. So I'm gonna leave mine at six seconds, and then you just hit export and you're good to go. Okay, so now that one's done, we're gonna jump into the photo from Resplash. This photo is perfect for this app. This is exactly what they want. So it has a very clear area that's not going to be moving and a very clear area that is going to be moving. What you need to do is hit this animate button again, just drag the arrow from the start of where this should be animating or looping and to end where it should be looping. And be careful because you see how mine just broke its neck. So I'll just hit the back arrow and try it again. There you go. And then just do it for the entire line here. So you see how I'd want this entire shoreline to be moving in and out. So I want an individual line that goes across each part and does that. So now we'll take a look. And look, I mean, it already looks good. Before you post it or anything, make sure that if there's anything that you wouldn't want moving in the loop, that you put an anchor on it. So like for me right here, uh, this little like white thing, I think it looks cool, but it does look weird when the animation's going, when it moves. So let's go ahead and anchor that down and then play. Then we take a look, and look, this, everything still looks fine. Now I consider that done. I like the way that is. The same export settings and everything are gonna apply to the last one I did. Since this is gonna be a video file that we're exporting, you got a little bit of a play with what you can do with it. I recommend just putting some wave sounds over this. That'll add a lot more depth to your photo and just make it all kind of come together. It should look like this. But that is everything. So that's how you animate a photo using just your phone. And it's called a cinemagraph, I believe. It might not truly be a cinemagraph because what we're exporting is actually a video file from this app. Hopefully that adds support to make it a .gif file, however it's pronounced. But hopefully this helps you make something dope. Thank you so much for watching, especially this far into the video. Tag me on Instagram if you get a chance to make a animated photo and I'll come and drop a comment, drop a like. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And please, please subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. So for the, those of you who made it this far in the video, thank you. The second you get an Easter egg, look at this. Uh huh? Uh huh? So I can, I can make it like standing. Please don't pay attention to my terrible cable management. I'm working on it.